Now, the challenge here is that these are pure functions. This means we can't actually inspect what's going on inside them. They're pure, right? Very, very black box, a really good concept from object-oriented programming. So the one way we can actually inspect what's going on in here rather than the imperative way of logging out each one of these to a variable and then logging that variable and seeing what happens, we can create something called a tap. In this case, it's going to be an async tap. We'll just call it tap. And what it does is it takes in basically a range of arguments. And since we're using error functions, we don't have the arguments magical variable. We're going to use rest parameters here. So this array of arguments could be one or many, whatever, log out what those args are. But then we're just going to go ahead and return it. So this function will take in what you give it and then return it. And that way, the only thing it cares about is this. It just wants to inspect what's going on in this chain here or these pipes. It's going to inspect stuff. Kind of gives you a window to it. Very similar to vertical pipes if you ever played Subnautica. We're going to return promise.resolve and apply to the scope of the promise and then the args. So it'll call just promise.resolve with whatever you send in. Now we can put tap to each one here and see what happens right after parse people. It gives us an array of the people, including the outbus. We can put the tap down here as well and see what happens after it filters the humans out. So it has three, it has a dog in it, and it keeps just the humans because of the filtering function. And you can even, if you want, go ahead and take the value and log it out manually, right? If you want to have some kind of like prefix thing here and then return the value as well. That's another way of doing it. And it won't affect anything as long as you return it as you found it. If you want to do that in one line, you can log the value and then just put the or, and that way it'll short circuit and then return this because this is undefined. So it'll return whatever this value is. That's another way you can do it. Inspect each one of those. It's a little more roundabout way because in the imperative way, you can literally just go after the thing, but it's still a pure way of doing things. So that's how you can actually debug your promise change if you're going to do it like this. Again, the only downside to this approach is you're forced to do it in an asynchronous fashion. Even if you use async await, eventually somebody has to pay the piper and do the dot then at some place. And when you're done debugging, you literally just comment out those sections and you can leave your actual pure function untainted by any of the log statements 